Here we get in the reading of God's holy word. It says, when I was a child, I spec as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. So far, the reading of God's so far the scriptures. Amen. 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 Let me see it. The reason why I came to the scripture, the reason for the subject of consideration, because we have to realize our immaturity. We got to realize that if we're going to be who God wants us to be, we got to come up to a level of maturity. We can't keep thinking, speaking as a child. We can't, our language got to change. When we become to represent Christ Jesus, our language got to change. We're no longer children no more. We're no longer sucking on milk no more. We got to begin to come up the way God wants us to come up. As, as God have us in Mount Zion, worldwide ministry, we have a prophet, a pastor, and he has a vision, and he has a dream and plans where God has taken them at. So, if we're going to be a part of that plan, that vision, that dream, we can't stay stagnated, which is immature. We can't stay at a place of relaxation. We can't stay at a place of being comfortable. We can't stay at a place of being relaxed and laid back. We got work to do. It's time to work. So if we're going to work, we got to come up in a maturity and be ready at any, by any means necessary. When we come inside this church, it's time to get, go, to, go, go to war and be ready to work. Because we got to understand that the enemy want to stop the vision. And he want to stop the plans. But we can't let the enemy use us to stop the plan. So we got to begin to rise up and take our place, take our position. Get back in our place for assignment. And the only way we're going to get back in our place for assignment as we become mature. We got to grow up. It's time to grow up. It's, 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 it's time out for babies. Yeah. The man of God is given to us. We got to get back to the man of God like we said downstairs. You know, we're not no babies no more. He's looking at us to step up to the plate and play our position. Not sitting back relaxing because when, when we look at this world out there, we got to really grow up and be mature because a lot of people out there dealing with real problems. They're dealing with real situations. So we still immature and stuck on stupidity. Why are they talking about us? They're against me. They don't like me. Uh, uh, they don't like what I'm wearing. That's immaturity. When you become a man of God and you become a mature man of God, you don't worry about what people are saying no more. You get to the point that it's about doing the will of God. It's about God manifestation. His His God wanna His manifestation. He wants us to grow up. He want He want God wanna move in our lives like He never moved in our lives before. God wants us to grow. God wants us to be a witness to the people out there in the world that's hurting. Cause we were the same people out there in the world hurting too. So now it's time for us to really come up. And I was read. I want to read something. It said the man the manifestation. The manifest sons of God are those believers who are mature to the point that they possess God's nature and character. They have died to, they have died to self. See that childish things is still calling yourself. I'm still about me, what I want. God bless me with this, God bless me with that. But when you're gonna die to yourself and be a servant, a mature servant to serve people, to go out there and give to people whatever they need, whatever their situation is, you got to give to them. Don't worry about your situation. Serve God. Serve the people. I'm learning to the point that even with myself, I was real immature on a lot of different things. You got to close the door of immaturity because what you can open that door just a little bit and Satan will take you, oh man, he will mess you up where you don't know if you're coming or going. You're walking around nasty. You're walking around with an attitude. You're walking around complaining. You're walking around murmuring. That's not a mature man of God. Amen. You got to step down. You got to lay aside yourself. That's right. You got to say, man, I'm tired the way I'm living. That's right. I, I'm, I'm not God. It's like when you're immature, it's like 
God is not doing nothing in your life. First of all, God's a God of order, order. and decency. Amen. That's the man of God teaching us about order and decency. Yes. So when we get to come in Mount Zion Worldwide Ministry, we got to pull our pants up, tie our boots, yes. roll up our sleeve, and back. come to work for God. That's, right. that's why we got to honor the man of God. And what the head says, that's what we got to do. Amen. It's not about our own agenda. See, when you mature, you don't get caught up in your own agenda. You don't get caught up in your ways and, oh, with the pastor saying this, well, I'm going to do this, I want to do this. Well, you need to leave That's or you need to step down That's right. because it's about order and decency in this house. Mm -hmm. And we got a true man of God, a true prophet that God sits inside of him and tells him what to do and not to do. So we got to be, so be in alignment with the prophet because we're in alignment with the prophet. We still immature. We still challenged. Our thoughts are still challenged. Everything we're doing is challenged. But see, I realized that I'm, 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 I got tired of myself. I went through an incident, and, and, and it messed me up real bad. It messed me up real bad. It showed me where I was at. Sometimes God got to show you where you at. He got to show you your ignorance. He got to show you your stupidity. He got to show you your childish ways. He got to show you your, your, your thoughts like a child. Right. He got to show you understanding. Because you think you got to understand it. But you're in trouble. Yes. Because you're immature. Amen. Because whatever rules and regulation goes on in Mount Zion, it's coming from the prophet. Mm -hmm. And you got to be very... Say it, say it. Man, you got to be careful with the prophet. Because you got to be careful. If that part, if the prophet feel a way towards you, that's how God feels towards you. But what as a servant, the prophet says, God bless you. Then you better know that you blessed. But if the servant, the prophet, get away from you, man, you better grab his feet. You better hold on to him. Get crazy, man, because you gotta be very, very careful. It's not about us. It's not about us. We're nothing but servants coming to serve. Coming to be mature men of God and women of God to stand up. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And it says, and are filled, right, with the Spirit. Amen. Before a person become manifest sons of God, they must first become a son of God. Mm -hmm. We ain't children no more. Right. We're not children no more. It's, it's enough being babies because we got to think about the mindset. We got we to, gotta, old things have passed away, but whole all things become new. We walk in the newness of Christ. Mount Zion, God is about to, oh man, God is about to do something in Mount Zion that about to rock, about to blow our minds. But we gotta be in that place, in that position of being mature yes. so we can see where God's about to take us. Yes. And we immature, we can't see nothing. Yes. Everything God's glory is filled up in this whole earth. But when you're spiritual, immature, you can't see it. It's there. God want to move inside of Mount Zion like never before. We got. I, say, I keep saying that about the prophet because we got to acknowledge the prophet and where he's going. The prophet's taking us far, deep, but we got to get with it. And I always just say, I tell pastor all the time, we got to lean behind the reaper. He knows where he's going. So we can't try to go in front of him. We got to lean behind him with the same mindset, the same spirit that he had. We got to have it. Mm -hmm. So when he going through different things, he going before the Father. So as he going before the Father, yeah. we got to be praying. Yeah. We got to be seeking God. We still got to be walking up right before. We got to stay mature. Amen. So we can, we can hold the fort down as he go to the Father. Amen. That's being mature. Amen. You got to come up to that level uh -huh. of immature. Mm -hmm. Because God is not going to manifest inside of Mount Zion. When it's too much fighting, bickering, beefing. Oh, I don't. I don't like you. I don't. I, I, I mean, I'm telling you, I learned something. When I tell you I learned something, I learned something, man. I, I'm, it's not about me. 
I don't care about me. I don't care about my feelings. I don't care nothing about me. It's all about Jesus Christ. I'm dying to everything that's not of Christ Jesus, oh God. I'll let go of everything that's not like you, God. Everything that be easy to set me, Lord God. I lay aside every weight. I lay aside every sin that easy to set me, Lord God. I'm sold out for the cause of God. Whatever the man of God tell me to do, God, I say yes, God. I'm not saying nothing. And if you tell Minister Leanna, tell whoever to tell me something, yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. I don't care no more because it's not about me. No. God has brought me too far to be stupid. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. And I was very stupid. I can talk about myself. Amen. Because I was very, very immature and very stupid about things. And you can't be like that. That's right. I come, I come, I'm talking about myself first. It's time to wake up. It's time to wake up from that, from that, the attitudes. Oh, 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 I, 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 they can't tell me nothing. Man, shut up. Got to sit down, relax yourself. Amen. Stay, get in line. Get in place. Amen. Get in your position. Get in your place. Stop being ignorant of the vice of Satan. Stop letting Satan come inside your mind and tell you all these different things. See, we got, we got to have a normal mind. Amen. See, when you got a normal mind, that's when you become mature. Really? That's when the Holy Spirit can be in the move because the Holy Spirit is gentle. So you got a normal mind. The Holy Spirit can move and tell you, stop it. Shut up, relax. That's not that's not me. That's not me. But you got a, a normal mind. It that means you, you you let everything cloud your mind. All these different sins and anger and bitterness, strife, jealousy, division, confusion. All these things block you from the Holy Spirit. That's why you gotta let it go. Yes. That's why I learned. I learned. I learned. I learned. Oh my learn. God, Jesus. Learn. Boy, I can just sit and talk about myself all, but you know, because I learned something. I learned something, man. And I thank God for checking me. I thank God because He checked me to let me know I still love you. I still care for you. If I ain't love, I ain't care for you. I wouldn't tell you nothing. I wouldn't even check you. I just let you just go ahead on. But we serve a powerful, mighty God. That loves us, no, no matter what he loves us. But you gotta let go of yourself. You gotta get rid of yourself. If you don't get rid of yourself, you ain't going nowhere. Inside of Mount Zion, boy, we don't we can have you know, oh man. Ooh, boy, in Mount Zion, where we going? Seven years. Boy, Pastor, first lady, they've been through some stuff. We all been through some stuff, but they've been through it worse. They've been through people backstab, all type of different things, immature people do a lot of stupid things. So the things that we learn from the immature people should make us learn to be mature yes, yes. and learn from their mistakes Amen. and get ourselves together Amen. and lead, lean behind them, lean behind them. This, this, well, whatever y'all say. Amen. I'm going, yes, yes, I'm going. It don't matter. See, because nobody don't know about humility. Nobody don't want to humble themselves. You got to come humble. You got to be low, meek and low in your spirit. You can't have a, 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 a I remember Pastor telling boy, oh man, you can't have a heart can't be hard. Mm -hmm. you know, it's not good. God, God ain't gonna do nothing with that. You just gonna be looking lonely. And I don't mean to say I got excuse me for how to talk, so I'm crazy. You just gonna be in a stupid corner by yourself, looking <laughs> stupid. Everybody moving, God moving, having their way in their life, and you sitting in a stupid corner, like sitting there like. God, why are you not moving, God? Why are you going through this, God? Why this situation, God? Why this? Why that? Why that? Why that? But you can't complain because God is speaking through the prophet in this house, and you just sitting there stuck. My people destroyed by a lack of knowledge. You know, but then you don't want to know. When you really want to know, you humble yourself. Yes, sir, man of God. Whatever you want me to do, even when even when He give you assignment to do, do it. If you gotta get books to learn or whatever you gotta do, by any means, see, it gotta be by any means necessary. You become mature. By any means necessary, you become mature. So God can manifest Himself. Because He manifests Himself through Jesus. Everything that was spoken, everything that was in God's heart, He spoke it through His Son Jesus. He manifested the glory. So when we look at ourselves, we got to rise up as the sons of God. God is looking for sons. He's looking, at, he's looking for the sons that are here. That when people see us, they see his glory. Yes. When the people see us, 
They said, I see Jesus. Amen. When people see us, I see the glory. The Shekinah glory. When they see us, I don't know, I was going through something, but can you please talk to me? I, I, I feel your love. For some reason, I don't know you, but I can feel your love. I can feel the love all over you. I've been going through a situation I don't know what to do. But could you please pray for me? That's the Shekinah glory. That's what God, His glory, want to come through His people. He want to touch His people to touch people. The work Christ did on the cross provided everything we need to become sons of God. Nothing can be added to what Jesus did. Jesus Christ paid all that is needed Amen. to be a son of God. Amen. So what you going to pay for? What you going to give up? What you going to give up? Just like Jesus Christ, really, he gave himself up. So what you going to give up to be that mature man of God? So God can manifest Himself through you for His glory. That people begin to see Jesus. People need to see Jesus in you. They don't need to see, see that's what I'm talking about immature. See, when you're immature, they can't see Jesus. They keep seeing you. That's why your family not saved. That's not why your friends not saved. Your generation's not saved. The people out there, summer's over. Nobody's saved because you're immature. I learned something. When I say I learned something, I learned something. I learned something. And the man of God, boy, he's quiet for me. I, 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 I talk to me. I can't, I can't do it. I've been crying. And wife, you know, for, for weeks, man. I'm serious. I was messed up. You know what I'm saying? And man of God always been there by my side. A lot of years, never left my side. Thank you, so everything I've been through, right got my back. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. But, but, but that taught me something. It taught me that no matter what, I will never, ever, ever, ever be away with this man of God. Ever. Never in my life. Amen. When I say I learned something, I learned something. You know, you gotta, you gotta listen to him. Yes. You know, you gotta have his heart. You gotta know what he wants. I can't walk around with ain't no attitude. That's not passing. Come on. Come on, man. Come on. That's stupid street stuff. Get out of here with that. It, it, it's corny. It's, it's, really, it's really corny. I, I'm, I'm tired of myself. I'm tired. I'm tired of myself because God, 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 God been too good. God brought me. I'm going on 50 years old. I'm telling you, big kids, little baby granddaughter, my little, a little daughter going on two years old, about to have eight grandkids. You understand what I'm saying? And this man of God been there with me. He been there with me. Amen. Where I was going, he, he, he used to just speak. I remember one time I couldn't see my eye was bloodshot. You remember that, Pop? Bloodshot red. No, I don't know. I don't know what I was suffering, but I, my eye was blessed. I read I was suffering with something. That man of God was right there. By. See, you can't forget. Nope. Don't forget. Don't forget, man. Just don't that's forget. Right, don't forget where you come from. Right. Don't forget. That's right. See, that's, that's when you be mature, too. Yeah. That makes you mature, too, that you don't forget where you come from. Yeah. Because when you forget where you come from, you're lost. Yeah, that's right. And see, I'm not up, Pop. Can I speak? I mean, when I was got kicked out, <laughs> See? Amen. A lot of people, nah, I ain't gonna say that. No, tell the truth. I have no shame in my I can't see game. Mm -hmm. you know. you know. But when I went into a situation about to get kicked out, well I got kicked out in a situation. I got kicked out. <laughs> police came, the prophet told me, he said, you know what? I see the police coming. I'm like, told the girl, I'm gonna stay another week. So another prophet boy. When that prophet speak, you better believe it's coming to pass. Trust me. And he told me that. Next thing I know, po -po. and it's up to the point that I was in the house and I know what the Holy Spirit told me to get up and leave. Because I would have gotten they probably shot me and killed me. But God, uh, you know, you know. So I came and stayed with my pastor and assistant pastor. You know, they I love y'all. I just love y'all for real. Mm -hmm. Can't forget. Mm -hmm. Because when you forget, you're immature. Yes. When you forget, you're childish. Yes. When you forget, you're childish in your understanding. Yes. When you forget, you just childish. You gotta put them childish things away and understand. Good people. Mm -hmm. I cherish, Pop. I cherish you, Pop. Mm -hmm. Let's see, I got 
got mad respect for you. When I say respect for you, Pop, I love you. I love you with, with, with everything. Just immature with things and but it hurt me. When when I when I say I felt pain, it's like Pop, it's like he was beating you with a belt. <laughs> he was tearing me up, Pop. I was crying. You know, my wife would tell you I was crying. I was really crying like I, I, I'm hurt. I lost my friend. Not lost him, but I was acting up. And Papa, boy, Pop something else. But, hey, Pop, Pop was real quiet. Real quiet. I don't even have Jesus. I remember one time we was downstairs. It was on a Friday. And I wanted to shake Pop's hand. Pop said, bam. Yo. I wanted to just, to just run outside the hitbox bus or something. <laughs> because it, it, it hurt me. It really, really hurt me. You know, I'm not trying to, you know, I know it's about teaching and preaching, but I would just like to help somebody. You know, I don't know. But I learned how to be mature. I really learned when that man of God says something, I don't care. Whatever I got to do, whatever, by any means necessary. I learned how to be obedient to the prophet. And to assistant pastor. Amen. Because we can't leave assistant pastor out. It's a team right there. You gotta respect. Have to. So just like she says something, you gotta listen to what she says too. Because if you don't, you be disrespectful. Be careful. The rock is coming. <laughs> you don't know, you know, you know, want the problem to come, man. Pop, I ain't lying. Out of all the years I know you, Pop, what, 25, 27 years? I never seen Pop like that. Oh, I'm like, Jesus. I'm like telling my wife, I'm crying for real. I ain't ashamed. I'm crying. Pop, Jesus, he don't want to talk to me. I ain't know what to do. See, nobody. See, a lot of people. I mean, cause I'm used to pop talking to me. You got to bugging out, pop, pop, laughing, joking. That's my father right there. You know, that's that's my father. You know, it felt like he had me. I don't know, I always said it in the street. He, like, he had me. My father wasn't there for me. You know, my mom's passed away and stuff like that. But they both took me in and loved me, treated me right. Even in their house, they, mom, you always, what you want to eat tonight? I mean, I, 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 oh, man, come on, come on. I, I just love y'all, for real. I, I love y'all, I love y'all. And Big son got y'all back. Big son. I mean, Bishop's always called me that big son. But I mean, I'm big son. You know, and, uh, I, you know, I'm, I'm going to get out of here. I know. Sorry, Miss. Um, I, I just want to say that I thank God for you, Pop. And I truly, really have grown up. Amen. You know. Amen. 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 And if you're going to go forth in the gospel, where you have a man of God that God has sent, not just a prophet, he's a not just a pastor, he's a prophet. Come on to Pop. I'm sorry, I, 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 Pop, I ain't not. Pop, you, you, you mess me up. I'm, sorry, I'm cursed, I'm cursed. Oh, see, nobody, no, y'all don't know, man. I'm gonna tell you, he's downstairs, he said, he said that, um, where you going? It's in my mouth. And I know I messed up. I'm done. <laughs> my wife, she done. My family done. No, it's real. It's real. The whole generation is done. Just, see, the whole generation is done. Because for Corinthians 12, 13, it's in 11. Like a child. I was done because I'm an ignorant child. Pop, you beat me. Pop, you beat me more than my whole generation beat me. I used to beat all the time. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm getting out of here, Mr. I'm, I'm gone, but I, I love your father, man. I, I love him. I love him. Mom, I love you. Big son, big son, love, love. I love you. Uh, and let me tell you something. I, I, I will hurt something for y'all. Pop, don't, Pop, please, Pop, please. <laughs> Please don't leave me. I, I felt so lonely. I felt like I was abandoned. I, I was like, Jesus. Pop, pop, 
Father, I'll never forget that time when I was there. Listen to you, he, I want to shake. Oh my God, I felt like, oh, I want to go shake his hand. Pop said, you know I used to hug He said, pop. <laughs> <laughs> that hurt. Yeah. Pop. Yes. I will never, ever, 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 so I just want to leave y'all with this message. You got to grow up, be mature, because you have a prophet in the house. Whatever that prophet says, you better listen. Don't disrespect, because you will be cursed. And I thank God, I'm serious, I'm serious. I thank God that me and my pastor be talking. Mom, you don't know, Mom. So far, so far the scriptures.